Hello and welcome to the show. Tonight we catch up with some Philadelphia Flyer fans, go inside a local bike rally, and find out just how important a Chamber of Commerce is. All that and more tonight on Around the Region. It's the Flyers and Hawks in the Stanley Cup Final. And for Scott Hartnell's parents, they're watching every minute on the edge of their seat. At the same time, it's a dream come true for one Lloydminster guidance counselor. We'll have that story later on. And we'll take a look at this year's Border Bike Rally with an inside look at some of the events they have coming up. But first, every city has one, but do you really know what they do? Wendy Plandowski is here from the Lloydminster Chamber of Commerce to talk about what services they provide to the business community. Wendy Plandowski is the current president of the Lloydminster Chamber of Commerce and she's here today to talk about all things to do with the Chamber. So, Wendy, what exactly is a Chamber of Commerce for those of us who are uninitiated to the services you guys provide? Well, the Chamber of Com Commerce is a group of, of businesses, so we're an organization basically that um, brings together businesses under one organization for the betterment of the businesses and business community and we belong to our provincial chamber associations as well as our national chamber associations and there is strength in numbers and so we do have a growing and and fairly successful chamber in the city of Lloydminster. Why is it important for a small business or even a large-scale business to get involved with the Chamber of Commerce? You know the Chamber of Commerce covers off on all kinds of different services. Uh, one of the things that our members find um, very beneficial of being a member is actually our benefits program and so if you are a very small business of maybe one, two, three, four. Um, because of the strength of our numbers of our organization, you can participate in a very good um, member services program and insurance program, um, and even larger companies. Um, you know, there's there's so many things that we provide when it comes to our political action group, for example. We bring our, our MPs and our MLAs together and we talk about issues. Is it best to work as a combined group of businesses within a community to speak to groups like the MLAs and the MPs? It is. You know, we find that if we have a unified voice, if we make sure that all of the issues issues are looked at and that we are dealing with the issues cooperatively and, and then we find we have much better success when we, we're looking for resolution in things. You mentioned the political action committee. What exactly is that? How does that all work out? Because I've seen some resolutions go through to mm -hmm. the provincial level even and, and working their way up into Edmonton for the legislative. Yeah, actually the political action group um, brings together, we, we survey all of our members. We're actually putting together a survey right now um, where we say to, serve, to our members, you know, what, what are the issues right now? You know, quite often it's uh, transportation. Uh, it might be something like, uh, you know, safer communities. Um, we've looked at resolutions where we even have combined with our agricultural community and said that you know the um, the provincial barriers that we have when it comes to transporting meat across the border and those kinds of things and we take those forward to our provincial chambers and even to our national chamber and say we, we have an issue in Lloydminster but we may have an issue in Lloydminster that is similar to one that they might have in Lethbridge or in Grand Prairie or even in Ontario and we try to get more support behind finding the right solution to fix the problem. If I were a small business, let's say, and wanted to start up and get going, what would I need to do to become a member of the Chamber of Commerce? Because I'm sure there are some criteria to get involved with the chamber and how everything works? Well actually you can just call down to the chamber office and, and one of the uh, staff members there will be able to walk through um, the criteria I guess for getting started. But you know we, we have members that are nonprofit. Um, there's lots of, uh, lots of our nonprofit organizations belong to the chamber so you don't, it's not just for-profit um, businesses and we also have um, organizations that um, are sort of outside the realm of profit and nonprofit as well. Uh, we've uh, really the the only um, limitation that we've put onto our membership right now is that um, political parties actually can't belong to the chamber just because we don't want to show um, favoritism towards one political party. We want to show um, that we are unified in a voice for the business community. After the break, Plandowski and I talk about the Business Incubator. We'll bring together those resources under one physical structure uh, and then people can actually lease out spaces within the building where they can get started. That's next on Around the Region. Now more with Wendy Plandowski, the President of the Lloydminster Chamber of Commerce. We were mentioning before we got started about the business incubator. Do you mm -hmm. want to maybe explain what one of those is for a community and how that would benefit a city like Lloydminster? Sure. There are lots of communities in Western Canada and even in, into uh, the rest of Canada too that have started up what's called a business incubator. And basically a business incubator is a physical structure. It's, it's a building of some kind uh, whereby you bring together um, mentors and, and different people to help aspire 
businesses. And so you could have uh, somebody that wants to start a retail outlet, for example, but they need to get some, some services when it comes to business plans and permits and all of those kinds of things, perhaps funding even. And so we'll bring together those resources under one physical structure uh, and then people can actually lease out spaces within the building where they can get started. So you know when you're starting a business it might take you six months to incubate it to the point where you can actually open up your storefront. And so this is what we would want to see in Lloydminster. It's part of our new economic development model. We're working closely with LIDA, um, the city of Lloydminster and the surrounding communities and uh, we just see huge benefit to it. Other communities, St. Albert, uh, Grand Prairie, um, there are other communities that have started business incubators and, and you know if we look at the youth in our community we really need to inspire them to be entrepreneurial. We have an entrepreneurial community in Lloydminster but um, I think we can even do more and by doing this business incubator I think we have the ability to really take Lloydminster from where we are to sort of that next level. And that's the thing too, if you're a small business and you're maybe a one or two person little corporation getting going, you're going to need that backbone support that an incubator would really be able to provide for someone like that. Mm -hmm, absolutely, and, and part of it is just bringing, it's, it's not duplicating the services that we have in Lloydminster because we have some excellent services, but it's actually synergizing them. It's bringing them all together into a collaborative effort so that uh, we can really take that. You know, so many people say, oh, I had this great idea and I wanted to start this business, but I just couldn't get past that next step. And so that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that the person that has the great idea but maybe doesn't know how to do the business plan or doesn't know how to get to that next step has the skills that they need brought under one roof to do that. When, you know, for a timeline, could we see something like this actually get put into place? I know it's not going to be an easy and not an overnight thing by any sense of the matter, but what would be, a, a, you know, a hope for the Chamber to do this? Uh, you know, actually the Chamber is a partner in it. We have a number of other partners there. You know, I won't name them all because I'm sure to forget a few. Um, <laughs> but there are essentially, we're putting together a steering committee the community is putting together, um, along with uh, the Town of Vermilion and other organizations in the community. And we hope to actually have a business incubator model uh, sometime within the next 18 months. So we're looking at um, various uh, sort of successful strategies across Western Canada and saying which would be the best fit for Lloydminster, what do we need to get it put together and then take it forward. Right on. Well, if anybody's looking for more information on the Chamber of Commerce, where should they go and look for it? They can absolutely go on to the Chamber website. They can call the Chamber office. Um, they can call me, myself at the college. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of members, a lot of businesses around town are members. And so if you, have, uh, if you have a relationship with a business and you want to talk to them about the benefits of being a Chamber member, by all means, I think you know there's lots of ads out there with different um, pe business people that are promoting the chamber, and and uh, there's lots of uh, advocates out there. Right on. Well, my guest has been Wendy Plandowski from the Lloydminster Chamber of Commerce. Wendy, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. After the break, we dive into the recently released Prairie North Health Region budget. That's next on Around the Region.